What's up guys? In this video we're going to be setting up the front end which is going to be built in React. So the first thing I want you guys to do is to open up Terminal um, and we're going to need to clone a repository. Um, so the repository that we're going to be cloning is this React template that I created. This has a bunch of boilerplate for uh, Redux um, and some other libraries so it sets it up and we don't have to worry about that and we can just focus on the sockets and how those are working. So go ahead and run that. I already cloned it. Once you clone it you're just going to want to move inside of it and do npm install. I install already because it takes a little while. This will install all the dependencies and there's a few extra ones that we'll need for this project um, and I'll put this in the description below if you want to just copy and paste um, uh, these uh, this npm line, which we will be using those libraries for. All right, but I've already installed them. Um, once you have all that, you should just come over to, uh, if you start that up, you should see a screen that looks similar to this. So if you want to just start up a server with npm start in the background after you did the install and make sure they all work, um, I recommend that. Okay, so next thing we want to do is we're going to first configure the store. So just go into source. Um, and then the store.js and we're just going to import a few uh, things. So we're going to use super agent um, and we're going to be using feathers from feathers client. We're going to be using web sockets of course Port IO from socket IO client. And last import is going to be the REST API. Um, funny enough, they do not let you um, configure a uh, socket and a RESTful feathers application. So we're going to have to make two different um, basically feathers objects. Um, but both are going to be connecting to the same host. Um, the host is where your server is set up. So our server is at localhost 3030. Um, that's the default port. If yours is a different one, you can change that up to wherever you have your Feather server. And then we're going to just create a REST app, which is equal to feathers and configure. And we're going to do REST pass in the host dot super agent passing in super agent and then we're just going to configure hooks feathers dot hooks okay and then we're just going to create a service item service is equal to rest app dot service passing in items um, this is the item server that we set up in our backend server um, in the last video, and this allows us to use it in the client side. And we're just going to pass this into the middleware item service. Um, and you'll see we'll use this in our saga in later videos. Um, and then the other thing we need to set up is actually our socket. Um, this this right here was just for the rest uh, for making restful calls, and you'll see the difference uh, later. So for sockets, we're going to do the same thing, create a feathers object. We're just going to configure it a little bit differently. Um, and notice also I'm exporting this. Um, very important. Um, we're going to be using this in uh, another file. So socket.io, io passing in the host, dot configure, and then feathers.hooks. Okay, so we have both uh, the configuration for our uh, Feathers client for the REST and the sockets. The REST allows us to make post requests, get requests to the server, while the socket allows us to get real-time information, which we're going to be using both in this application. Okay, so that kind of configures our Feathers uh, client. Now we want to go into the components um, and in the main file. Um, we're just going to initialize our sockets. So first actually let's import um, 
our socket app from store and then we're just going to do component will mount. This is a function that React automatically calls um, when a component uh, is shown on the screen or is mounted to the DOM. Um, so first we're going to create a item service from the socket app just like you saw me do for the rest. Um, this time with the item service, um, we're gonna start listening for uh, with sockets. So to start listening, you say on, and then you say what kind of event you wanna listen for, and we'd like the listen for created. And when a uh, new item is created, um, what would we like to do with it? Um, we're gonna create a function called um, created item, and we'll pass in the item. Um, in the next video, we'll set up the um, function for this. And we're going to do two more. We're going to also do removed and updated. And we're going to do removed item and updated. Oops, updated item. Okay, so already we have... Um, our client set up to listen for sockets. Um, so whenever a item in our Feather server is created, removed, or updated, it will call this function that we created right here. Um, in the next video, we will set up these three functions and more to actually start doing stuff once we get something from our sockets.